inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Let's get a little personal. I want to know, do I turn you on? Yeah, to all of my listeners that chime in on the podcast, when you hear my voice, I want to know, does it do something to you? Now, when I presented that question, that didn't possibly come out right. But you guys know I got to be a little theatrical sometimes. But no, so I did not mean that the way that it sounded. I was just being a little silly. But seriously, it's a beautiful thing. You guys keep coming back. You keep listening. You keep chiming in. And I love that. I absolutely do. I mean, who doesn't like attention? Don't get me wrong. I know we got our extrovert versus introvert people, but that doesn't mean that you don't like attention. That doesn't mean that you don't like to be recognized for the things that you've done or that you've said. But some people, you may be like, no, nah, yeah, August, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of really a background person. I, I, I don't really need anybody to notice me. Well, here's the thing. If you're an entrepreneur, I'm going to need you to want to be seen, to want to be noticed. And if you don't, then there's a glitch somewhere and you're warring with your spirit because entrepreneurship, unless you've got this special thing going on where you can just sit in a little factory making something all day and and never see anyone, entrepreneurship is based on relationships. It's about the moments that we create with other people. It's about the opportunities that we have to collaborate. And you've got to be in love with yourself first in order for somebody else to be in love with you second. And here's the reality. A lot of entrepreneurs are not experiencing the success that they would like to because they aren't really in love with themselves. Right now, I have a Capture Your Clients live video challenge going on. And I'm teaching women how to own their shit, to really talk about what lights them up, to really show up in the online space and to begin taking over their piece of the market so that they can expand more rapidly, attract their clients better, to have this no like, and trust factor established more rapidly so that they can start signing up clients and making the kind of money that they desire. And the thing about it is I can teach anybody to do live video, but this isn't about technical stuff. This isn't about where the lighting should be, where you look in the camera. Yeah, I teach all of those things, but that's not the most important factor. 
What's the most important thing is the mindset work that I sneak up in there that challenges where a woman stands when it comes to adoring herself, praising herself, knowing that she's the shiznit, standing in her confidence so strongly that she's willing to get out there and show and tell the world. And that's what I want to know about you. How excited are you for real, for real about the work that you do? Because that's going to make a difference in everything that you do, especially when it comes to speaking to people. I mean, you guys can feel my passion when you listen to the podcast. For those of you that have seen me live, you can see my passion when you listen to me doing a live video. And you want to know why? Because before I do any of these things, I am stoked about what I am about to say. I can't wait for the people to hear it. And I get disappointed, not like in a majorly distraught fashion, but when I don't get enough people to chime in to my message, I'm always like, what do I do to become more visible, to get more eyes on me? And you want to know why? Because I believe in what I do that much. I am always as a business owner looking for clients, but beyond that, I want an impact that is so phenomenal that I'm like Oprah. And when I say that a book was good, all of a sudden it goes off the shelves. And ladies, that's the place that you need to be because those are the people who get the stardom. The issue is we've been taught this thing called humility and humility has become this silent killer that does not allow us to stand in our greatness because we're always trying to be nice. We we're just kind of standing on the sidelines and letting other people tell us, hey, yeah, you did a great job. You're OK. That's not the kind of energy that you need. There are people out there who need you. You turn them on. You light them up. But you've got to turn yourself on and you've got to light yourself up too. I remember I was on a podcast and a gentleman asked me a question. Why do you do what you do? And I said, you want to know the real answer? Because it turns me on. There's something in me that gets excited when a woman comes to me and she was scared to death about showing up and showing out in her business. There's something inside of me that gets turned on when I know that I played a part in giving somebody clarity, that I was a part of the journey of helping someone accomplish their dreams. That when they say, yeah, my coach August rocks, these women that I work with are absolutely phenomenal. I saw them in their future. I knew that they were great. A lot of times, even before before they did, when they were hoping that someone would see them, I saw them. And when they start coming over to my side and then they go past my side and they represent themselves and they show up as these extraordinary women, it literally does something to me. I mean, think about it. Stars like Beyonce in them, she is a very quiet, humble person. If you've ever seen her in an interview, and in an interview, she almost looks slightly intimidated, right? I've seen her on interviews with Oprah and it's like, oh my gosh, she looks like she's borderline afraid, but she releases those inhibitions and that alter ego comes out when she gets on that stage and trust me, the screams and the cries from her fans fuel her. She lives for that. And that's why it's so hard when people are in industries where the eyes are on them for them to let go. Because yes, we love the work that we do, but we also love the responses that we get from them. So I want to call you out and I want to ask you, I want to challenge you to get out there and to be seen and to be visible, not for the sake of being seen and visible, but so you can see who you're lighting up. So you can see who you're turning on because what you're going to find is there's a secret behind that. No, everyone who responds to your post and your videos or connects with you is not going to be a client. But the more you show up and the more turned on you are, you are, and you are so authentic and your messaging so real and so lit up, you will attract more people that like you and repel more people who think you're over the top. And the entire time while you're in love with yourself, Self, that magnetic energy is going to attract another woman who wants to be just as equally in love with herself as you are. 
And so I need you to get out there and I need you to show up and I need you to let people see you not for the sake of seeing you so that you can make the impact and the change that you know that you were put on this earth to do. Where do you stand with live video? I am really pushing this right now. If you are listening to this podcast in real time, I'm going to tell you right now, it is March the 14th, 2018, and it is going down starting on Monday. I do this free challenge every once in a while. It's not something that you're going to see every day. You get it while the getting is good. I got a woman who did it last year who revamped and relaunched a business. And she's like, you guys are crazy if you don't come in here and do this challenge. She said, matter of fact, her post said, I'm going to say this just one time. You don't miss something like this. If you aren't already following me on Facebook, you need to do so. You need to jump into this challenge so that you can stop playing small, release those inhibitions. And no one knows but you whether or not you're silently hiding and kind of waiting for something to happen versus boldly stepping into your beauty, boldly stepping into your intelligence, boldly stepping into this endeavor and going out there and get the people. If you have even the slightest reservation and you're not showing up, you need to get in this challenge experience experience the camaraderie, be around some other women who are feeling the same way that you are and watch a radical transformation occur in just five days. The challenge is free. It, the link is on your respective platforms for you to go ahead and sign up. Otherwise, come follow me on Facebook at August Crenshaw. A-U-G-U-S-T-E-C-R-E-N-S-H-A-W. And I'll see you there because it's time for you to start Turning some people on, baby. I'm Audi. Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces!